Yale professor Dr. Lori Santos has over 2 million students taking her online course, The Science of Well-Being. During the last few months, millions of people have been trying to understand, how do I find happiness during such times? How do I become happy during times of, de- of depression, of loss of employment, of sickness during this, uh, during this time period? And she has taught her students that there are three major factors that impacts a person's well-being. And one of those factors is about being present. Happy people are people who are able to be present. They're able to not get all confused about everything that's going on and just focus. To just focus on what's happening, notice what's right in front of their face, and just be aware, to be present. For us as Jews... Being present takes on a different meaning. To be present means to be aware of the good that occurs even during these times. It's to acknowledge when others help us out, to acknowledge when God has given us something even during difficult times such as the times that we are currently in. There are two days in the year, says the Talmud, which are the happiest days of the year. These are days of simcha, of joy. What are these two days? Which two days are we referring to? If you look at the calendar, the Jewish calendar, which two days would you pick as the two happiest days of the year? Maybe Purim, Sukkot. Which two days? The Talmud tells us Yom Kippur is one of the happiest days of the year. And the other one is a holiday which occurred this past Wednesday. A holiday called Tuba'av. It is not a famous holiday. Most people don't know about it. But there's a holiday called Tuba'av. And it's the happiest day of the year. The Talmud explains different reasons as to why we have this holiday. But I would like just to address one of the six reasons that were given. See, in the city of Betar, after the destruction of the temple, the Romans went there and they destroyed the entire city. And they killed, they wiped out the entire city. That occurred also on the 9th of Av, on Tisha B'Av. The Talmud teaches that much later, there was a miracle which occurred. The Romans finally, after all those years, they didn't let the bodies be buried. And finally, after all those years, they let them bury the bodies. And that occurred this past Wednesday on Tuba'av. Two miracles happened. One miracle was that the Romans gave permission to bury the bodies. The second miracle was that the bodies did not rot. The bodies did not rot at all, and they had the ability to bury them. The Talmud goes on and says, not only do we have such a big celebration because of that, it's the happiest day of the year. In addition to that, the fourth blessing of Birkat HaMazon, of the grace after meals, was instituted. The bracha of Hatov HaMetiv, of the good that God has done for us. That is what we're celebrating. When we say that God has done for us good, God has let us bury the bodies. It is the strangest thing. An entire town, city was destroyed. The Talmud even says that so many people died. There was so much blood that the Romans used the blood as fertilizer for their vineyards for the next seven years. It was a tragedy. But yet we rejoice because we're allowed to bury our dead because the bodies did not rot because of the miracle that occurred. What about the bigger picture? It was terrible. It was a terrible situation that the Jews were in. But the rabbis are telling us something extremely important. It's about being present and being aware and seeing the hand of God even during those darkest times in our lives. It's understanding that, yes, things are not great. Things are pretty bad. But at the same time, to recognize the good, to recognize the hand of God during those times, to see that there was a miracle that occurred. The Romans let us bury our brethren. And there was another miracle that the bodies did not rot. It's clear that God is still with us. And to that, we celebrate one of the happiest days of the year. And to that, we add the fourth brach of the fourth blessing of Hatov HaMetiv over the good that God has done for us. This past week, I spoke with one of my friends and an older member who unfortunately is in a nursing home and she cannot leave her room. She's stuck. She cannot even talk to her own daughter face to face. 
The daughter comes to the window and they're not even allowed to talk to each other. They just give hand signals. And I called her up and I asked her, how is she doing? And the first thing she responded is she said, I'm not doing well, but things are also going well. She said, I'm not doing well. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy to be alone. It's not easy not to be with family. She's by herself. But at the same time, she said that she recognizes the good. She recognizes, you know what? Well, I have a bed. They're feeding me. There's doctors. There are nurses that are helping me out. And I recognize that. And I'm thankful for that. And that's our attitude. That's our being in the present. It's acknowledging the good. And to recognize that even though it is a bit dark, but there are also bright times in our lives during these times. And we have to recognize those bright times and thank God for those times. Have a wonderful Shabbos.